Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the 6th house posited in the ninth house in the natal horoscope. Well, um, first of all, most, most of you know that the 6th house governs health matters, um, fitness, diet, exercise, work, service, employment, and animals. The ninth house governs um, philosophy, you know, long journeys, higher education, um, you know, deep, you know, um, I guess broad concepts, we can say, profound ideas, um, you know, and also it's kind of, I look at it like as the expansive house, it's a very, you know, it's, it corresponds with Sagittarius, and, you know, Sagittarius, you know, the ruler is Jupiter, so it's like, you know, Ninth house doesn't pertain to anything small, obviously. So anyway, uh, well, one obvious interpretation of this is that the person that has this placement um, may work in some philosophical um, teaching profession, uh, may be uh, doing something involving uh, traveling, could be a pilot, explorer, even working in a travel agency since that pertains to, uh, to traveling. Uh, could work as a professor, um, work in theology, religion, spirituality, uh, you know, science even. This person may often put a lot of effort and work very laboriously toward these things, um, toward you know, the things that I had just mentioned that the ninth house governs. You know, in some cases, this could indicate that, you know, if a person, if um, adversely aspected, if it had, the ruler is predominantly bad aspects, afflicted, uh, somebody could be sickly and debilitated, uh, and it might impact their philosophies. The person's health in general may do this if the person is healthy. Obviously, you could, might see a more expansive and, you know, I guess you could say an um, enthusiastic way of expressing their philosophy, or, you know, their philosophies will be connected with more positive thoughts and energy. If you see that the person is of ill health, then obviously this might impact the philosophical nature in a negative manner. Now, this could be somebody that, uh, I guess we could say, you know, who might work, I guess, hard in conjunction, you know, with the ninth house matters, might, uh, you know, work hard toward um, higher education. Their work ethic and attitude might strongly impact, you know, these areas in general in life. Someone's, this person's work attitude might really, might affect them in terms of their learnings, um, you know, um, whatever it's higher education or you know, their traveling. Uh, these people uh, may work with people in a foreign country, uh, might be involved with people of different cultures. Uh, they might demonstrate their work ethic, you know, strongly to people that are in um, other countries. Um, perhaps um, their pets even might impact, uh, you know, their, you know, or might be injected into their way of. Um, thinking as far as their philosophies may go. This could be somebody that um, is very, I guess you could say, organized, systematic, methodical, because the sixth house does correspond with Virgo in terms of um, in terms of their philosophical outlook, their routine as far as, uh, you know, higher education. This person might have things very um, plotted out, very organized in terms of their, you know, I guess higher education, scholastic activities. Uh, this person could be somebody that, um, you know, has their, I guess you could say, their outlook on, I guess, the way they take care of themselves, the way they, um, you know, as far as whether it be working out, their fitness and exercise. Um, might be injected somehow into their philosophical uh, nature. This person um, may work very hard and in terms of, you know, of their philosophy, in terms of maybe indoctrinating their philosophical views onto other people. Uh, this person's, I guess you could say, 
their, uh, I guess as far as their daily habits go, you know, much can involve, uh, you know, it can involve traveling on a day-to-day -day basis, um, for example. Uh, could involve, uh, I guess, we can look at it like, you know, just, um, I guess, somehow have their philosophical nature somehow in, you know, into this, I guess you could say their daily, um, you know, routine, perhaps um, meeting people with other, you know, from other cultures, even if it's in their own country, might be, uh, might have something to do, you know, with what they do on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. So anyway, well, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the ruler of the 6th house, positive in the ninth house, and the natal horoscope. Stay tuned next time, where I'll be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the 6th house in the 10th house in the natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis on a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because a person, astrologically, is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.